Greetings, my fellow Ammonites, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld False God, the final episode. Episode 102, Amon Ra's Farewell. Immediate multiple angles. 18 looks like mostly melee. Let me check. No, they're a mix. And then you guys are real close to the front gates and you're mixed too. This would have been a good fire trap uh, kill. I think what I'm going to do is uh, not auto rearm any of these traps and start using the traps that are just in these stockpiles to save steel because I basically don't have any steel left. Maxu, instead of fighting, just keep sculpting. I I, I want that sculpture done <laughs> more than I want you to help. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Macho, hurry up. That left door is completely wide open. I didn't notice. Go around. That's closed for construction. Please, thank you for obliging. All right, Seabass, you look awful. So just back up. This oddly, I mean, obviously I suffered a lot of injuries, but this oddly was like an, a workable tactic because I split their raid party in two and slaughtered the first half. All right, so Seabass, hospital for you. Aviator, how are you always? Oh, you are just such an arrow magnet. Every time, he wasn't even standing in front. Every time I look at a fight, it's, there it is. We've got Aviator, front and center with arrow wounds all over his body. I feel like, I feel like as soon as we enter the fight, he grabs an arrow that he has stashed in his pocket. And he's like, these won't be fatal. Stab, 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 just to get out of it. I'm going to call him Captain Bone Spurs from now on. Because I am on to you. I'm pretty sure they are Bone Spurs that you pretend to have inflicted upon you, but the truth is they're fake and you're a phony. Uh, so they only trip like three traps. Um, so it's gonna be pretty easy to rearm. No, four. Uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to rearm that side. Uh, group number two is coming down now. Crazy Dave, thanks for dropping your sub, even if you can't stick around, I appreciate it. Thank you and bye. <laughs> Yoda says hi. I think. Yoda says peanut. His love language is peanuts. Try by subbing. I know. I, I've got the best subs. All right, Aviator, get out of bed. You're going back to combat. I know you're faking. It's I'm on to you. All right, Guero. Let's have you poke yourself out of the door. Firefly. That's only bruises, so you'll go join Guero. You're fine. Don't be a baby. And then Amon Ra will tend everyone else. Oh, ouch. That's a way to die. Guerrero don't mess around. When he cuts you, you're just, it's like guts from Berserk. You're just, there's two of you now. And both halves don't like one another. Oh, here's the Berserk I wanted. Yes, I've been trying to get a Berserk like that for a long, long time, where they all stack up on the one person I individually Berserk, and then, um, and then we just crowd Berserk like that. That's obviously where it works best. But I just, I've not had those opportunities for a while. So Sabin, you're patched. Yep. Make way for Firefly. The rest of this raid is just, they're over. They're fighting each other. They don't even know what's going on. Can we get Aviator Tortoiseshell Body Armor? <laughs> yeah, feels like we need it. 
She is always the uh, the victim. She, he, I don't even know. What are you? She. She's 56. Okay, fine. You're a little old for combat. I'm sorry, those that are 56 and up. But I'm pretty sure you don't want to be drafted to war. So maybe you're not offended. I know Ban is, what, 42? You start to get aches and pains in your mid-30s. And then by 40, you're just like, yep. Sorry, if I get out of bed too quick, um, I have to call a, a sick day into work. So who's left hurting? I think everyone's okay. Do I enjoy Dub's bad hygiene? Sometimes when it makes sense, when I'm trying to city build. Uh, other series that I have, it's been super detrimental. So I've had series in the past where it was horrible to have. Like the last main series I had of RimWorld where I was um, semi-nomadic. It does not work when you're semi-nomadic. People do not like pooping in holes. They're very mad if you make them poop in holes. Very, very mad. Right. I'm going to go a little over time to try to get a result about this uh, Jade sculpture so that prediction can be resolved. I might want to start smelting weapons for steel, too. Um, I'm going to take heavy clubs off the smelt list so we can't accidentally uh, melt the clubs we make. 1700 is going to be a while. Well, he is work frenzied. I also can um, have uh, Firefly drop by and focus him. So now he's work psychic focus. Well, that's more for sight. Doesn't really help. It's the thought that counts. Can nobody animal link? Uh, so in this series, only title holders. Well, it's part of the rules, but only title holders can gain psychasts. And the only title holders are these five. So they're the only psychasters. So there's tons of people that could a animal link, but through the rules that I have, uh, they're not allowed. Would a stool help him? Maybe. I, I don't care what his comfort is. It's going towards zero. Get traps put back. I did get a, yeah, a ton of pacifist psychasts, but then later on I did get berserks. So credit where credit is due, the problem was resolved. But initially it was just so many pacifist casts, it's pretty painful. Note for next raid, I do have hippos and zebras pretty close to the entryway. Which, if I can get the door closed in time, hitting a pulser would be pretty useful. Uh, Kilgore, you should not hunt. Reactor remaining? Let's check. Three days. You know, I might even just finish, finish this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Because this ship is like 90% done. Question for all of you. How many seats do we need? And let me inform my boss that I, I'm going to be a little late. Just a wee bit. Bait kibble in front of the spike trap area. Just a way to collect a lot wildlife there. Uh, there's a lot of corpses. I don't know if hippos eat corpses. No, I guess they don't. Yeah, I could, I could put a little kibble here. Build a roof. And put kibble. Problem is that uh, nobody's even allowed to go there. So I have to make it allowable. But yeah, there we go. Hippos make corpses. They don't eat them.
true. We have wet pet rem pet ritual in about two days. We won't be done with the reactor raids, but close. I'm running out of things to research. Oh, you're watching the Vulture playthrough on YouTube. You thought you'd come by and say hi? I was actually just referencing it. Someone asked if I liked um, hygiene. And I said, in the last series that had the, the Vulture series, the hygiene mod was just... Ob I tried to test it with it, but it was obnoxious because being very nomadic as, as that series had me traveling out to areas constantly. Everyone was pissed all the time because they were like, I don't like to poop in the open. Understandably, I suppose. All right, tomb. Let's get that built, finally. And then sauna. Is unisex? Why is there... Add more sauna heaters or shrink the room. Oh. I'll shrink the room. Is there a good room for this? Yeah, it's it's too much. It's too big of an area for too small of a sauna. Um, my brain's a little slow. Let's go with sauna right next to my poop room. This would be a good sauna room. Yoink, yoink, yoink. What is this called? Biosolids? Uh, hey, my biosolids can go... Near the clothes, because I don't really care. Audible, new sauna room. And then we're also going to want sauna seating. Maybe someone wants to buy the uh, the poop. I mean, you know, maybe. Is my cat eating corpses? Hope not. All right, Maxu, you are half done with that grand sculpture. People bet on that, so I hope it's good. The room is going to stink a little. Oh, uh, prepare a while. Oh, I have bad news for a prepare a while raid. Really bad news. Hey, Kilgore. Time to anger the fire god. Prepare wire raids are not going to need an animal pulser. They are... Oh, this is broken. They are going to need me to... Make sure that nobody exits the premises. So let's double check the zoning. All looks good. And you think I need five ship seats. And I am not in a position to disagree. Unfortunately, uh, it does pose a bit of a problem. I don't have space for five seats. What I'll make do. I'm just gonna have a very protected ship core. Kind of out of material, out of steel, but hopefully we get some deliveries. Because technically, this is good to launch. I mean, this has everything I need to launch, just not a, um, not a charged up reactor. All 
All right, Kilgore, let, I need to get started. I kind of lost track of time there. Alio. Alio. Uh, moving the sensor, breaking things down is going to be way more expensive than just building some extras. Just uh, FYI, so because you don't get refunded very well. Come on, grow better. Uh, I know you're getting a little burned. Oops. You'll be all right. Just stop throwing directly on the barricades. All right, and they're beginning their assault. Uh, Maxu and Guero wait for our kind raiders. There are 25, oh, they're all melee. Ah, oh, they're all all melee. This is a melee only raid. And they're coming in now. I have 31 steel. Guess we'll allow the quarry to be open when there is nothing left for JFed to build. This room is 700 degrees Fahrenheit, so I think it is perfectly crisp Raider temperature. As long as the fire keeps spreading. <laughs> will they make it hey macho sometimes I need you to repair stuff so might as well get you in here too I think I've designed it just long enough to torture them so that they collapse at the very end yeah I heard the mining noise and I freaked out. Now it's just Aviator freaking me out. Don't break my doors! Nope, they all collapsed. They got nowhere. Ripperonies. I can't do that again because the North Trap isn't fully reset yet. I mean, I could micromanage them to reset it, but I don't think I'm going to need it again. So, Macho, take the night off. Maxu Guero, thank you for your service. And all of you, burn. The corpses become fuel to burn more corpses to become more fuel. That eventually immolates the entire structure. Once the room temperature gets high enough, the remaining wood starts to spontaneously combust rather than spread uh, to, to adjacent tiles. That's how hot it gets once it's really cooking. And then it just erupts in mass flame everywhere. Works pretty well. Oh, more steel from Mike's Penance. That almost sounds too much like Mike Pence, that it's confu <laughs> confusing. <laughs> Former VP Mike Pence just delivered you some steel. It's not something you would ever expect to hear. Cannibal colonies would be proud? No, they wouldn't, because I've ruined all the corpses. Almost all the bodies, except for the ones that oddly got stuck in the doors, have burned up to a nothing. It's a horrible way to make profit off of raids, but a terrific way to just not bother with them and have them kill them, you know, end up dead. Do I smell smoked ribs? Smoked ribs, yes, you smell some smoked meat in there. I think uh, Wasp, Bren, and Locrum, or Leocrum, probably fit the bill for being smoked. Hey, 
If I close the external doors here, I could reset these traps uh, without endangering the people that are in the colony. So maybe I'll do that. Or not not traps, but the reflooring the floor for the next wandering horde that wants to burn. All right, we'll do that. Sea bass, wrong place, wrong time. You open the deadfall traps. And a firefly, you close the fire traps. So now if I look at the forbidden inside zone, yeah, there's no way that an external ray can hurt anyone that's in there. Yep, we're good. Reactor timer, two days. Gonna send another run out to Mike's penance and grab steel. The deadfall and doors are weird. Yeah, it's designed like this so that my own people never have to stand on deadfall traps to remove loot from the area. They can always path to loot without having to step on the traps themselves. Except for loot here and here, I, I guess. So it's not perfectly designed, but your own people have a chance to trip their own trap, so it's really good to not design it where they do that, because it will hurt. Right now there isn't a valid path, you're right. I gotta uh, open up this door, and now there is. Come on. Did that beep that I just heard, was that Maxu finishing the art? Oh no, he hasn't done yet. Okay. He's almost there. Almost there. This would be a lot faster if they were auto doors, but you know, can't do that. I will happily try to bait the kibble, so I'm gonna have Amon Ra haul one stack of, you know, I don't have any kibble left. But uh, when I do get a little bit of kibble, I'll have Amon Ra um, haul a stack of kibble outside to try to bait the the animals to stand around. How are your rugs? You are done with all but one. Actually, do that doesn't belong there. Whose is that? I think that's just a spare. I don't even know where the rug went. I had you make a rug, but it... Oh, I'm, I think I'm waiting on the last one. Because I was going to carpet up the other side of the uh, prayer room. We have materials. Scorpio and happy pants. Go to area one. Wow. Didn't see that coming. A wee bit of a surprise. Legendary. Well, there you go. Jackpot for those that guessed. Where did I put the... Well, it's not going to be symmetrical. You know, maybe it goes in the... Uh, that's not going to fit. Uh, In his bedroom is way too small. 
Right outside of the throne room. How's that sound? Seems reasonable. Can we have it in the lab? Yeah. In the research lab? Sure. Okay, I mean, the, well, actually, no. You know why? You're about not to be on this planet anymore. You don't need art. Guero is dead. I think because Guero decided to try to unload the elephants, even though he shouldn't path in there, it's not my fault. It's just the game being weird. Guero just killed himself. Well, Guero, uh, I guess I will do it nicely. And make it painless. Oh, Guero, why'd you have to do that? At least we have a sarcophagus for you, I guess. <sighs> Shouldn't have seen it. I don't think I'm going to promote someone to Bastet Guard. What? Don't feed him. Well, I guess the last meal, right? Ah, oh, man. Loink. An engraving on this sarcophagus depicts a tributary. The work makes the viewer think of strife. Strikingly, if you squint your eyes, the triangular composition of the image reveals the outline of several mouses. It's not even the plural. Mice. If you want context, it would be in the rules or the details of why he had to die. Everything is already written. What is this? A vast construction. No, I'm not taking that on. Nay. I'm actually gonna not have a symmetrical beam. No, I guess that's fine. Can I please place his weapon at the foot? I, I will. Uh, I was waiting to... Okay, I'm not going to wait. Uh, I'm going to roof this up and then put a brazier in there. I do need more stone, though. So his weapon will be at the foot of the sarcophagus. And there is an opportunity for a ritual, I guess. I don't feel like celebrating, but yeah, now there's just an empty bedroom. Yeah, apparently there was Mickey Mouse triangles on his sarcophagus. A very strange construction. As we start to get more sarcophagi, I will break down the old ones and move move them to the new ones. That will also save on material. So this is supposed to be for Grey Hermit. So contents, or storage rather, just any animal corpse will do. This. Do I like coffee? I totally don't. Of course I do. I even have an emote for coffee. Who do you think I am?
Maybe animals stay buried outside? Maybe, but... But they're not. <laughs> so for me to make room... Well, actually, I could stick this... Here. Looks weird, but it will work. Or stick it... Here. I'll do it like that. It's not going to be symmetrical. Alright, we have another one getting built, so... Out comes Squeakums. I'll max you with another inspiration. Fine, you want the sauna smaller? There. Sauna's smaller. <laughs> Quit bugging me. Alright, here's old Mamino. And Squeakums. Songs are finicky? Yeah, no kidding. Who's in this? Tech Wolf? How does Tech Wolf not look rotted? How is that possible? He's been in there for so long. I, I don't understand. I fully do not understand. Magic. True magic. Reactor, how are we doing? 16 hours? Wow, that was fast. I don't even need that wall now. Nope. Oh, yeah, it was just a... It was a... It was a lie. He was all sorts of routed, but the image hadn't updated. Amun Ra, you're the only one that can move this sword into where it belongs. Done. Who's next? All the people that we, we failed to protect. Darzan. The slayer of coyotes. Oh so valiantly defended us from the coyote raid. Looks like Maxu's getting him buried. And then we just have uh, Brady and Dem Tacos. Dem Tacos, uh, much like Guerra brought it upon himself, that I saw coming from a mile away. I predicted it, in fact. Brady, Brady defended us. That is not a fresh taco, if that's what you're wondering. That is one old taco. And then there's one empty grave. I'm hoping I don't have to fill it. With anyone. I didn't realize that uh, unpacking caravan animals made colonists completely ignore their zoning. That's news to me. I had no idea. Otherwise, I wouldn't have risked what I did, obviously. But the long and short of it is, yeah, the rules of the series is none of the natives on this planet are allowed to see any technology beyond their 
uh, tech level, essentially. So when Guerrero walked into the lab to unpack the lab animals, or the, um, the caravan animals, and saw the high-tech lab, he was put to death. I don't have any volunteers to put in it, no. Not unless you want me to play with those anti-grain warheads. <laughs> I'm not planning to play with them, so. I wonder if I get a last raid. It's been a real calm. I'm so used to you guys accepting raids that have, like, triple-digit number of raiders coming to me. That it's weird when it's this quiet. Where are the other people in the lab? They are uh, robots wearing burkas. They're all robots wearing burkas. Shell Bell was our moral guide. Um, and she walked into the lab and I had to kill her. And then I resurrected her into a robot body. So she's a, she's a tier four robot and the rest are tier threes. But yeah, that that's who's in the lab and that's actually why they're in the burkas. Because every now and then, um, for weddings, for instance, when a wedding gets triggered in RimWorld, everybody attends. There's no restrictions. So the robots just start attending the wedding. So I put them in burkas in the case of like a wedding where like I couldn't stop people from seeing robots. And the reactor is ready. Well, this is a little bittersweet. Time to pile in. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if everybody is. I mean, they don't know where <laughs> Amon Ra's going. He's just disappearing. He's just ghosting them. Uh, you know what? Before I even do that, Amon Ra, uh, let's stick around for a sec. Um, a leader speech? Yeah, one last leader speech. I'll get all the robots in. Sorry, JFed. Due to your traitorisms, your ex-traitorisms, uh, I do not trust you to be next to the rest of the robots. You, uh, you have stabbed me in the back. And, and, yeah. Okay. Let's have a... Well, let's kick off the Rempet, Wempet Rempet Festival and then a leader speech. A man wants to say goodbye. In fact, all of the sentient animals uh, should attend as well. Or all the animals that can, you know, walk. Come forth. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that was not good. Okay. Um, leader speech is on cooldown. Uh, just just close your eyes for a minute here. What is this? Um, reset cooldown. Oops. What did I just click? Sorry. I don't know what that was. Why is, can I not even leader speech still? Here we go. All right. <clears throat> even the leader speech is rigged. I know, I know. Amin Ra wishes you all success in the future. He has other cities to build. And he believes that all of you Ammonites have fulfilled his dreams of being a kind and uplifted community and that he is sorry, but he is taking Guero with him. That is why Guero isn't present. Do your best to be kind to your neighbors and don't eat my chocolate. It's a weird final message, but okay. All right, dude.
Well, just in case uh, anyone tried to get uh, high technology from this laboratory, uh, Amon Ra is going to make sure that that just doesn't happen. Mm -mm. Nope. No one's getting my technology. I'm going to rig it to blow. Now you know what the uh, IEDs were for. Insurance. Removing his footprint. All right, everybody. Well, Amon Ra's climbing into the casket. Knowing that his inappropriate fingerprint on this beautiful little planet is now jerry rigged to explode if anyone violates the rules in his absence. And off we go. Prepare yourself for very loud credit music. Maybe not. Nope, here it is. <laughs> I brought all the robots with me up to space. They didn't belong down on that planet. And left behind Macho, Kynan, Firefly, Seabass, Sabin, Godfather, Maxu, Aviator 10, Thomas, Plex, Rose, Mr. Johns, Kilgore, Marcos, and Delirious. We did lose some along the way, some without names, but we lost Brady and Darzan in the defense of our beautiful community. J-Fed, because he got eaten by bugs. Shellbell, because she saw things she was not supposed to see. Old Mamino, I don't even know what killed you. I think a raid. Dem Tacos, because you were nosy. You wanted to eat things, and you thought I had meat in my freezer. And I didn't. I had robots, and you had to die. Squeakums, because Mike. Mike bashed you to death in a social fight. And Guero got a little bit too curious where those elephants went. Thank you, fellow Ammonites, for tuning in to RimWorld False God, which originally streamed live on Twitch, September 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. It also has a link to Discord if you're interested in joining the gaming community, and that link can also be found in the description of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream or series. Adios, my fellow Ammonites.